Yeah, oh, look, it's, uh, there's not the full complement of players there yet, but uh, one thing that we do know about West Coast is they're fit, so that's pleasing. And uh, what, what are you aiming to take from the next couple of weeks with the young guys? What are you looking to get out of them? I just want to see where they're at, uh, probably meet them individually, get those sort of relationships starting, uh, have a bit of a feel of their skill level as well. So not too much, so it's a bit of a slow and steady to begin with. Adam, have you met with Murray Newman yet? And has he got a clean slate with you? Got a clean slate with me, yeah. yeah it's, uh, I spoke to him briefly a couple of weeks ago um, and mentioned exactly that. How's his condition? Looks good. He's been at the club most days I've been there, he's been there. So he's got a really good attitude at the moment. What's the process with him, Adam? Do you know what the next step is? Uh, we'll just wait and see what happens there. Yeah, we're not, um, you know, we'll be a little bit patient on what happens in the next few weeks and we'll make decisions as we go here with that one. You've obviously seen some talent in him that you can bring out, hopefully, you know, if all goes well over the next little while. Yeah, definitely. We can't make too many plans until we find out what happens, but uh, yeah, um, yeah he's, a, he's a talent. You only completed your coaching panel sort of this week. Are you happy with the, the team that you've assembled? Yeah, I am. Look, it's a, it's a young coaching group, but I, I like it that way. I think we'll grow together. We'll grow with the team. Uh, we're going to get away this weekend just to meet each other, really, and uh, talk about style of play and where I see the game and uh, how I want to educate. Is it good to have a couple of guys that you've known from the past, like Brady and uh, Daniel, that you've played with and you sort of trust, I guess? Oh, yeah, I, I've got trust in all of them, uh, but uh, I do know a lot about Brady and Daniel. And Daniel, a lot of his, his stuff he's learned has, has been at Hawthorne, so he's going to help me implement some things that I'll take from there. And, and Brady, of course, is uh, a lifelong friend that I've had that uh, and we grew up at, through uh, North Melbourne as well. Did you want to get a senior assistant, someone who'd probably maybe coached before in the AFL, or are you happy with, with how it's unfolded? Really happy with what we've got at the moment, yeah. Yeah, I think the, the, the coaching group is really level and even, and um, I'm not too worried about the lack of senior experience. And have you got your head around the list following the trade period? Oh, I have a little bit. Yeah, I've still got a little bit of work to do. Uh, I've sp spoke about it in my uh, previous press conference, so I've got to put a lot of faith in the in the, uh, the list management that's already here, and I'm still doing that. Yeah. How marginal was the the call on Brad Delzeal? And he had a pretty solid season last year. Yeah, once again, that was within. Um, you know, conference with the list management. So I had to go a lot on what uh, their thoughts were, but also my thoughts as well. So it was a really tough call considering the type of person he is, yeah. And I noticed Leroy Jetta was uh, having <laughs> a kick around to the side. You, you got that, me on that one. Yeah. Is that a coincidence? <laughs> yeah, I think it was, uh, unless uh, I haven't been told anything yet, but uh, I think it was a coincidence. Adam, you mentioned a couple of times now how fit the Eagles are, how you see them. Is that something across the rest of the league that, you know, the Eagles fitness is something that certainly stands out? Definitely a perception from, from over east that uh, the main strength of West Coast is their endurance and their ability to run. So my challenge now is to get that out of the boys' game day and use it as a real strength. Tongue firmly planted in the cheek, but the coach last year ran with the players on the time <laughs> trials. Will the coach this yeah. year doing that? Yeah, I, I need to, you know, get a little bit fitter, but I might be running 15K or 40K. It <laughs> uh, might be three at the start and see how we go. Just a couple of updates on, on some of the senior players, whether or not they get back in time. Bo Waters and, and Shannon Hearn, are those guys on track to start pre-season? I think they are. If, if not, it, it'll definitely be in December. So they'll come back on the 18th and we'll assess them then. But from all reports, everyone's tr tracking pretty well with injuries. So I know a few of the players pulled up pretty late in the season and missed the last few games, but hopefully they're, uh, they're ready to go by January, I would have thought we'd have most of our list available. Anyone you have to nurse through that first pre-Christmas stint, Adam? Yeah, I haven't spoken too heavily with our fitness department on, on who we manage, but there is definitely players there who are vulnerable to, to, to injuries, so we'll keep an eye on that. But like I said, I, I think the list is going to be pretty healthy come, come January. Not a day goes by where we won't ask about Nick Natanui. Will he, <laughs> <gonna do> <laughs> <laughs> will, he, uh, will he start? Day one when, he, when he's ready to be back and I think so. training? Yeah, I think he'll be back. for. He's definitely running now. Um, I think he's pain-free. So, um, touch wood, he's, he's right to go. So, we'll, uh, we'll manage him as well. I think he's pretty keen to make a, a pretty good first impression as well. So, we'll make sure we'll, uh, we'll manage his, his loads. But at the moment, uh, he, he looks okay. Adam, how have the uh, senior players reacted to no more external training? <laughs> Well, pre-seasons used to be you'd start, if you didn't make the finals, you'd start training the end of October. Um, now we're starting 18th of November, so the days are gone where you, you can train remotely and just, just check in with the coach. So there's only three weeks of training once we hit December, and the first week's normally testing and sprint work and all those sort of things. So uh, I don't reckon they need the break. They'll be all right. And how, have you got, how much of your 
game plan is solid at the moment and how much is going to be sort of developed over the process? Yeah, I need to get away with the coaches and, and talk to them about what I want to do and how I want to go about it. Um, how we educate is really important as well. So I need to find out where our coaching group's at with, with all that. But I've definitely got some strong thoughts on uh, where, I want, where I see the game and where I see it going. So once we get that sorted, then we'll present it to the players. Will the interchange cap change the way you prepare him physically at all? Um, I'm really glad to, to, to hear that the club's been preparing for that for a while. So it's not a, a knee-jerk reaction. I think West Coast has been one of the lowest rotating teams in the competition and um, that'll be a benefit for us um, going down to 120. Have you had a look at the, uh, the draft options for you guys? You've got a relatively high pick. Has come down to a couple of guys yet. Sheed's been mentioned, Akers yeah. as well. Yeah, I've got a meeting tonight with the, uh, with the, the guys who are coming over and we're going to have a a good planning meeting, but once again, it's it's something that I've got to really sit back and um, let the let the guys who have been doing all the work all year, um, as long as it fits into to some of my thoughts on players, um, yeah, I've got to really let them run is, that show. Yeah. Is there a particular type of player, like a tall midfielder or a big forward? What do you, is there anything you really uh, see as a game? Yeah, I, look, I would have thought that we need to bolster up our midfield, so that might be something that we'll look at early. Has the, list, has the list manager also talked about um, taking local players as a, as a preference at all? No, I haven't heard that at all. No, not, not yet. I think it's take, take the best. Yeah. The pace of the Eagles midfield has been discussed. Um, what are your impressions from Matt, from afar? Yeah, oh, I, I don't really want to comment too much on last year's deficiencies or the perceptions. I, I want to assess myself and see where they're at. And um, there's no doubt there was a few players missing last year. So I'd like to see the team at full strength and then make my judgments from there. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks guys, appreciate it.